Hello everyone, we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, I'm doing a voiceover because when I was filming this, I lost my voice and I was really unwell. But today, as you could tell by the title, we are doing essentially a full face of milk cosmetics. So a lot of these products I had picked up in a mystery box which i also did a video on if you want to check that out please do i picked up a couple of things along the way like you saw the brush box and also the setting powder but these are some of the products that i got and yeah i just wanted to use them on my face today i already have a foundation and i started off on my brows and to be honest this pencil was really scratchy it was not working very well as you could tell by me trying to swatch it it was giving me nothing um and i'm not too big like on my brows like my brows are really kind of all over the place anyway but i wanted to give this a go and to be honest the shade wasn't for me like it wasn't my shade but that's what happens in mystery boxes but when i was putting it on it really was not doing anything um and i was trying my best to kind of just use as much as i can as you can tell my expression <laughs> it wasn't doing anything for me but um yeah i moved on to the clear brow gel which i was really excited to try because you know it did look pretty good i do like clear brow gels but i'm not too keen on the way that the product actually looks like it was really goopy um and really kind of like weird again as you can tell by expression uh, but you know what it held my brows down really really well and it kind of locked everything in and you can see that first kind of pencil that does not match me at all but um yeah I, it looks a bit weird but anyway we're moving on to the blush and I love these cream blushes so much and they are one of my favorite formulas but this is a shade that I hadn't tried before and I just wanted to use a sponge because for me it works so much better like I really like using a brush but I felt like a sponge gives me so much better coverage um, and I believe that was in the shade polished which was a shade that I have not used before because I really wanted to try a couple more shades because the formula is really really nice like I mentioned so many times gives me a nice glow look then we're going to move on to the sex foil which again I find like the strangest names but I again have used this before this is a much deeper shade um, than I normally use but I did put on way too much and I know it was an excessive amount but even the first bottle that I've had um, it basically I still have so much of it left like I haven't had a chance to use it much recently but I do like this shade a lot um I was just testing out my brows and it was proper locked in so this is the new setting powder this was 38 pounds on beauty bay can you believe it it's so expensive and it's in the shade fair so I've seen a couple of people talk about it like makeup by missa she really likes it um and I always want to try just new melt stuff because their brand is one of my favorites and I kind of felt like this might be stepping over the line of spending like almost 40 pounds on a setting powder that I might not like but you know what fuck it life is too short sometimes but um yeah when I put it on with like a little kabuki brush from Spectrum I did like it like it's not um anything that I would call very special but it still gives me a nice kind of glow but I thought because my skin was already quite glowy because of the foil and like you know the highlighter and stuff I couldn't tell much but I will definitely use it in another video up and coming because it might look different and then I moved on to my eyes which um, is the electric trip eyeshadow palette so this is a really nice looking palette like when it came out I was really excited to try it so it was on my wish list I actually got this makeup set as like a mystery box from the melt website it was a bit strange I don't actually know why I got it um, it was basically just a set of brushes that was like what 30 eight pounds it said it was a mystery brush set but to be honest I think these were the brushes that would have come with it anyway so I kind of felt like I just wasted my money but there was a nice selection of brushes like they all seems to be eye brushes I know that weird one on the end that I'm touching now is for your mascara I believe I've seen it um on their website before but yeah I thought I would just um put some brow like, like eyelid gel and basically just going in with the first shade and you know what I do like this eyeshadow palette it takes a lot to build up but I know that a lot of their brand eyeshadow palettes take a while to kind of build up um 
And the thing is with Mel, I've tried about four or five of their palettes, maybe even more than that. And one or two of them do become slightly kind of inconsistent. But I felt like this first shade worked out really nicely. And I thought I would try something a bit different because normally I'd go in with an eyeliner afterwards. But because I don't have a Mel eyeliner, I just made a wing with one of the deeper shades. And you know what? It blends out really nicely. And I felt like I actually did quite a decent job the brushes were nice I felt like I didn't need to pay almost 40 pounds for the set and a brush holder because I literally have a bag that has my brushes in them um but blending that all in together and then I just added the red on top because I wanted to make the crease just a bit more popping and you know what that red is actually really really nice um and yeah I thought I'd just blend it in all together and then I was just kind of end it off with a shimmer but going in with these shades i know i will be trying the other shades in the future um but yeah just testing out this one i felt like yeah it blended out nicely i didn't know where this look was kind of going because the shades are quite random but i felt like you know these shimmers probably weren't paying off as well so i did use my finger and you know what i say this all the time that the heat from your finger will work so much better on a shimmer than a brush will because a brush doesn't have you know any kind of heat coming off it so it wouldn't slightly like melt the product but i felt like maybe just using the finger would be so much easier to use and i was right in all honesty because i felt like this look kind of is a bit random but I felt like it works quite nicely and I thought I'll just add an inner corner shade which is this orange because I don't believe there was like a silver or gold shade but I felt like it kind of worked out really nicely and blended in together so uh, yeah the palette was quite nice I've tried these um matte lipsticks before and they are really really nice I felt like the consistency is obviously the same as the other ones but the color was a nice kind of red and reds are like my favorite shade but this had come in the mystery box and I think I'd gotten like two lipsticks but yeah this is my finished look let me know what you guys think I know this is a bit of a weird video than normal but um I actually quite enjoyed filming it without talking and yeah please forget please like and subscribe and enjoy the video bye